<laughs> Another wasted season. The same mistakes, just a different week in a different location. That's the only difference. Uh, you know, I I I want to give a shout out to a few Cincinnati Bengals fans out there. You know, they made the trip up to uh, SoFi Stadium, so kudos to them, man. Um, you know, the the team just unfortunately they didn't give anything, and I'm gonna just absolutely rip them. And this is probably one of the last Bengals videos for quite some time because obviously they have the bye week and I just don't feel like talking about them right now. I want to just completely forget about the Cincinnati Bengals after this video. So I'm just letting everything loose here. It's barely even halftime right now. It's 21-6. to six. They're probably going to make it 28-6. So I know this story, man. But I'm, I'm just going to give you my general takeaways on this team. They just suck. They suck. They've, I mean, we've given everything to them. And, you know, I'm just going to let everything out here just because I feel like they're not worth more emotion than I'm about to spew right now. So I'm just going to let everything out here. I, I mean, I made, I organized my thoughts. I got everything together. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to get loud and I'm going to get everything out of here because that's just what I'm about on here, man. I'm about, like, just raw emotion. I'm not, I'm not faking it. You know, that's not what I am. I'm a... If you want to see passion, this is the channel for you, man. But yeah, another wasted season. Um, but let's get let's dive into this team. I mean, I want to give a shout out. LA Chargers are a hell of a team, hell of a football team. They deserve all the credit in the world. They're a good team. They're gonna be in the playoffs, no doubt. And uh, yeah, kudos to them. But the Bengals suck. Here's why: Joe Burrow, he looks lost. He is missing targets. The offense looks lost. The offensive line looks lost. They they don't know. Even without Khalil Mack, they don't know what to do against Joey Bosa. And t I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Not much respect to him. He he's a great player. First two drives in the red zone. You have first and goal at the three, and you know what you come away with? Two field goals. You know I I said zero points. Scratch that. I mean it basically looks like zero points at this point. But you came away with a twenty-seven yard field goal. It went it it went from first and goal at the three yard line to third and goal at the fifteen. The Joe Burrow he is off today. I'm not sure what they did on their off like their their off week. I mean, sure they dressed up nice, whatever. Whoop de do. I mean, you know, SoFi Stadium has not been kind to the Bengals. And they have done nothing about it to fix their problems, fix their kryptonite, if you want to call it that. They've never won in L.A. I think they've played three or four times in L.A. They've not won a single time. So this stadium has not been kind to us, sure. But coming off a long week against the Baltimore Ravens, a heartbreaking loss where you almost won, this is what you do. The offense does this! The defense stays... This defense stays shitty. Absolutely shitty. On third down, we do nothing with it. <clears throat> and after those two field goals, they go right down the field and score. And this defense should be ashamed. I don't know how they're going to get together. They can't tackle. They're putting no pressure on Herbert outside of the first sack so far. Giving a big plays left and right. Literally left and right. What? They let a tight end do a streak on them for a touchdown. They look like they don't care. You know why? Because they don't. They don't give two fucks! And Zach Taylor, I'm going to say right now, guys, I'm officially done with Zach Taylor. No adjustments on this long week. Same predictable play calling every damn game. It's time. It's done. It's time to clean house. Let T walk. Zach Taylor, fire him. Lou Anarumo, fire him. There's no adjustments. It's going to be the same crap every single week. I'm done. Done. And this is what this is what this organization is. Cheap decisions year after year. No urgency to fix anything during the trade deadline. Nothing. How long are we going to accept this mediocrity? We've been mediocre for 56 years. 57 years. How long have we been a franchise? We're loyal. We, 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 we bleed orange and black, but we get nothing in return. 
This team is a bunch of losers. The softest team in the AFC North. Yeah, the softest. Record-wise, they're not the worst, but they're the softest for sure. We spent all this money, all this time, all this energy watching games. Every snap, every play, every touchdown, every single play. We bleed this team. And we get this in return. Well, everybody we needed to win, or everybody, sorry, everybody we needed to lose today, they won. And we did nothing. On a long week, we did nothing. I'm tired of these excuses. These underperforming teams, this underperformance. I don't know how they're going to change the culture, but do it soon. Because this is, this is pathetic. It's the same shit every time. This team has no fight, no fire, nothing. Stick a fork in the season. We're going on a bye week next week. We're going to come out and get destroyed by the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm tired of this. Fix this mess or alienate your fan base like you did for so long. Those are my thoughts. I'm out of here. Screw this team, man. One of the worst Bengals teams I've ever seen. One of my least favorite, no effort giving teams. Thank God the Cavs are 15 0. This team deserves no energy, no passion. They're lucky they're getting it from here because they're not going to get it anytime soon. I'm done with this team. This season's over. Well, I had some halftime thoughts, and um, I stand by most of it. I'm going to be honest. I do. We fall to four and seven. Our uh, playoff hopes, barring uh, a win out, pretty much over. I would have said uh, we deserve better, but honestly, I, it, we got better in the second half, but it turned into more heartbreak. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. Like I said, I. I'm gonna upload I uploaded my halftime thoughts earlier and this is my post game you know reaction. I'm gonna combine this into a video because obviously it's uh I want you to see the full deal. Um Yeah, that that's pretty much it. Bengals lose 37 20, or uh, 34 27. Shout out to the Chargers, shout out to Justin Herbert, shout out to that entire team, Jim Harbaugh, all of them. Um you guys beat us. It was a heartbreaking and it's just frustrating. Because uh, we come on the losing end again of these very, very tight games. And my voice is very, very raspy and, you know, just frustrated. But let's dive into it, man. Let's talk about it. This dude sucks. Evan McPherson, you suck. You absolutely suck. And here's the thing. He missed a, two big field goals. I said A critical, he missed two. He missed... Okay, one was a 51-yarder. You got to knock it down. At least you redeem yourself, right? No, he hit him wide left both times. He was clutched back in 2021. Not anymore. This loss is on him. And everybody can talk about doing math. Like, oh, but if he hit both of those, it would have been 33-27. So the Chargers win. You guys are box score merchants if you really look at football that way. This dude has literally costed us maybe three or four games this season by his leg. And would we be raving about this? Or would we be, like, you know, clamoring about this awful defense if if he had won us at least two or three of those games? No, he wouldn't have. The issues are so glaring because this dude has missed so many kicks and cost us so many games. And he doesn't seem to care. I mean, this is the same guy that was at halftime, you know, sitting on. This, this dude has to go. I'm sorry. We need a new kicker. I'm over 2021. I'm done. Never forget those clutch kicks. But I'm done. I'm over it. It's on him. This loss is on him. Teams play better from ahead. Okay, you don't. You don't want to say, oh, but he made. He if he missed both, he made both of them. Chargers scored a touchdown. That's not how football works. But if you do, then you're a casual. Period. Point blank. But anyway, uh, Joe Burrow, his heroics almost saved the day. Defense caused a fumble at the end. I think it was Geno Stone. Got wasted. Final eighteen seconds for a touchdown. Predictably, right? Thanks to Evan McPherson. Killed the momentum of the team. Just demoralized the team. Burrow gets you in range. Joe's literally doing everything he can. I said Joe Burrow looked off in the first half. He got his shit together in the second half, and he almost won us the game. Him and Jamar Chase, I feel so bad for them. We are wasting MVP seasons from both of them. Seriously. 
this has just been a season. It's been a combination of bad luck. It's been a combination of just incompetence. It's just with a good defense, we we'd probably be nine and two, ten and one. With an af- average kicker, we'd be seven and four probably. And we got none of those, unfortunately, because Evan McPherson sucks. Period. He sucks. Stop holding on to twenty twenty one. Stop holding on to twenty twenty two. It's done. He's done. I, I can't stress it enough. He's done. I mean, this is the same guy. Like I said, he he's been like just he's been looking at so many different situations where he's been in position to win, and it just doesn't come to fruition. So thank you, Evan. Appreciate you. So my final thoughts, guys. Special team sucks outside of the punter, obviously. Coaching staff lacks urgency. It's terrible. Fans are tired of these collapses, man. Every week. Every week, man. I can't stand this. It is so annoying. But anyway, we show up, we cheer. Shout out to all the fans at SoFi. You guys showed up. This team has repaid us with constant heartbreak, unfortunately. It's hard to watch. It hurts. But our season's over. Period. Sorry, I'm done. Just like the Bengals season. You guys have a great night.